There are a number of incidents that occur throughout the year where military EOD has to come and work with public safety bomb there. squads to solve a problem. Raven's Challenge is the largest explosive ordnance disposal and counter improvised explosive device training event in the world. By having come together and trained and exchanged information, they're better able to do their tasks um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether that's a soldier on the battlefield dealing with IEDs in Iraq or Afghanistan, they're going to be more capable uh, because they've learned some things here, they've learned some new tricks for the public safety guys. With real-world events happening every day, it is important that the responders stay sharp with their training. This challenge brings them through scenarios such as saving victims from vehicles, disarming and understanding homemade explosives, as well as investigating situations after the explosion has occurred. I think they, uh, they did a good job at recreating operational possibilities and operational hazards and different things that you will have to go through. This year's Ravens Challenge is honing in on the use of robots throughout tactical operations to limit responders direct exposure to unknown threats. That a good robot operator can keep his team leader from going down range in a bomb suit. I don't want my team leader to go down range at all. If I can do the job with this robot, then he has to he can sit up in the truck in the cool AC and still look good. Raven's Challenge continues to serve as an interoperability event focused on the cross-training of military alongside of federal agencies. Uh, can you center up? Everybody clearly understands the vision. Everybody clearly understands what we're trying to accomplish. We are trying to make ourselves as prepared as possible for what we see as one of the enemy's um, most likely courses of action. For the 122nd Public Affairs Operations Center, I'm Private First Class Tyler Maine.